Early 2021, Burger King rolls out the Chick King, their new hand-breaded chicken sandwich. And they announced that they have won the chicken sandwich wars. Problem, they haven't. The sandwich isn't very good. It's very inconsistent between locations. The workers are having trouble making the dang thing. They get a frozen piece of chicken breast, which they have to thaw, then hand bread. People got tiny chicken, huge chicken, tough chicken, juicy chicken, too much breading. Just sandwiches all over the place. And the breading sucked. The breading had like no flavor. The bun was good, the pickles were good. The new savory sauce was pretty good. This was the most unhealthy chicken sandwich on the market and it was the worst in my opinion. The spicy version was good because that breading that there was too much of and had no flavor got soaked in a spicy sauce. Enter August 2022. Burger King decides to get rid of the chicken. They admit failure, they're done. No more chicken. Now we've got the Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich. We're going back to a pre-breaded frozen filet. Let's see how it is. I got two kinds here. There's four sandwiches you can get. I've got the crispy chicken sandwich. Sorry, the royal crispy chicken sandwich. The royal, spicy royal crispy chicken sandwich. And then what I didn't get was there's a bacon and Swiss version and a like southern barbecue style or something. So we're gonna try these other ones. These are the most like the chickings, right? Let's see if they did if they've nailed the chicken sandwich game again. People like the old sandwiches. Then they brought out those crappy new ones. Now, I'm not expecting greatness here. Especially after looking at it. Um, now, the bummer to these is they no longer have pickles. They've got lettuce and tomato, and they're supposed to still have the savory sauce. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So here's... You can see that frozen pre-breaded chicken filet. You got some weak toppings on the top. Some of the more savory sauce on the bottom, not a lot. It's really thin, kind of decrepit looking chicken filet. Let's see how it tastes. I don't know, for six dollars, this doesn't look like a six dollar chicken sandwich. I don't know, guys. Let's look at the spicy one, too, so we can get our stupid selfie thumbnail. It's the exact same sandwich, except they have soaked the filet in what I believe is the same sauce as the spicy chicken. So, we're gonna try them both. Let's get our stupid selfie thumbnail with them. Maybe. I don't know. Let's try the regular one first. Hmm. Here's what I'm wondering. Is this identical to what they had before? The taste is familiar enough. Really thin piece of chicken in there. It has more flavor than the breading from the chicken. It has that going for it. But it still is kind of a cheap, shitty, frozen chicken filet. But, um, if you wanted the old sandwich back, that's what they got here. With that new savory sauce. Not that this had much of it on there. Let's try the spicy one. You know, what I really wish is that they did the chicken right. That the stories could get it consistent. That the breading was delicious with flavor. There was a lot of promise there. There was so much promise that just didn't hit. Now I will say if you love the chicken, you're gonna think these are trash. Cause despite my complaints about the chicken, it was still more of a quality product, right? Big, thick, juicy 
chicken filet when they did it right. These are not. And these are cheap trash. These suck. But let's try the spicy one. Now you'll recall they used to have a spicy chicken filet. This is just the regular filet soaked in the spicy sauce. Now, minus my complaints about the tiny crappy chicken filet, that's pretty good, because I like that sauce. There's a lot more flavor going on. You'll probably enjoy this one. But again, my location was charging $6. I was poking around the various locations here. Some were even more money, some were a little less by like 50 cents or so. Yeah, that's the better one. At the end of the day, it's still that crappy chicken filet in there. So I'm torn. The king needed to die. It was not right. They could have just revamped it. I don't know that they did this because people didn't like the flavor. I see mixed reviews on people commenting on my YouTube videos and whatnot, but it was done because it took way too much time for the employees, way too much effort. Nothing else in their store was a hand-prepared sandwich like that. I've seen the complaints from the employees. The employees hated this sandwich. And it makes sense. They're quick, fast service. Nothing else is like this. So, Burger King gave up. Um, but that sandwich had so much potential. This, this is their new forever chicken sandwich. And it kind of sucks. I'll never get one again. Um... Why, why bother? In fact, I was debating getting the other two if this video did really well or if I really liked these, but I'm not. These kind of suck. I don't even know if I'm going to go finish them. I've got better food in the fridge at home. They're hot. I am hungry. So I didn't eat lunch today. Because the other Burger King told me they couldn't sell me these yet. This Burger King told me yesterday that they couldn't sell them yesterday. They could only sell them today. Clearly, there's no real street date on these nor should there be, and it's just more inconsistency from Burger King, which is the problem that led to this mess anyways. Fucking Burger King. You know, there's things I love about Burger King, there's things I just absolutely hate. I don't know what direction they should go in. The Whopper's a pretty good burger, but it's not. It doesn't stand out, right? It can't compete with the other premium burger places. McDonald's has the cheap burger game on lock, right? They'll always be doing well. So where the hell does Burger King fit in? I Not with these sandwiches. I, I really don't freaking know. I don't know. It's a Bojangles across the street here. Bojangles is great. Usually, usually, there's another thing. People love their, their like frozen chicken Supremes, which is what they call their bigger chicken tenders. They suck. They're not good. That's why they're test marketing a new hand-breaded chicken tenders over in Nashville, Tennessee, which I really don't want to drive to go get, but I might because I'm crazy. If you haven't picked up on that by now. But I hope those come out and that they do well because hand-breaded everything is better. I, I could put some sauce on a chicken. It would have been better than that thing, I guess. I don't know. I wish for it to go away. It's gone. It is what it is. Burger King. Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwiches. I don't recommend you go get them. Don't bother. Six bucks. Go get a, I don't know, what do you like? Do you like a Bo's Chicken Sandwich, a Bojangles? Go get that. You know that's my favorite. Don't have Bojangles? Go get a Popeye's Chicken Sandwich. Way better than this for the same price or less. Same price or less. Six bucks. I can go get a Popeye's Chicken Sandwich for five. They used to be four. But you know, prices. Six bucks for this piece of shit. Don't get it. Don't do it. What, what, who, who are these people? There's people coming to Burger King. Who eats here, like, out of free will? I don't... Ah. Ah. I got pizza dough's going bad in the fridge. I got, 
don't know, guys. Whatever. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. If you want to see more like this, please hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If you somehow love these sandwiches, you know, you do you. You, your poor, poor taste buds. Good fucking God. Take care.